are they looking to teach this in schools? I mean, think about it, right? It's like we're, we're on the precipice of a, a massive shift in the foundation of our economy. And I was like brought up in grade school, you know, albeit 20 years ago, 13, well, fuck, 25 years ago, um, <laughs> getting old. But you're, you're learning about money in a, in a much different way. I mean, I'm, sh I'm just trying to get my head around how, like, how does that translate over to young kids? And, and maybe it doesn't seem like it's something you would think about, but I mean, that would kind of be really important, right? Yeah, for sure. So uh, there's, there's way smarter, there, there's way smarter people, way more dedicated people like on, on this, like trying to fight this particular fight. Um, one of them, his name's Tyrone Ross. Uh, he's the CEO of a company called on ramp invest, but he's one of like the go-to financial advisors within this space, but he's been like standing and shouting at rooftops for a lot of time, uh, a long time, principally about that. Like there needs to be financial literacy at a very young age in schools and principally being able to introduce this new burgeoning asset class, um, to young people and principally uh, communities of color that typically historically have been left out of sort of like paradigm shifting movement. So I look at this, at, this has the potential to be a peaceful wealth trance um, redistribution, like a peaceful wealth redistribution, because you've got all the old guard um, sort of fighting there, the gold bugs, the silver people, the stocks and bonds people. I think ultimately, everything is going to flow over in some frame or fashion to you know a digital uh a digital avenue whether that's blockchain um or in-house blockchains or, or anything like that but we're looking at i firmly believe uh, at one of the greatest potentially peaceful wealth redistributions historically so financial literacy is important principally for some of these communities that have historically been left out within this country and around the world but to your point, no, I, I don't. I haven't heard of any like dedicated efforts um, on financial literacy or financial literacy uh, around this particular um, topic. Just whether it's blockchain or or digital asset or like store of value type assets like Bitcoin, and just giving them a just a gentle history lesson. Like there's tons of lessons to point to and why what's happening right now. Um, isn't a good thing because one of the elements of financial literacy is living within your means and not so not spending more than you take in. But now there's an additional caveat to that. Now you have to invest what you're taking in because if you take in a hundred bucks and your expenses are 40, you've got $60, but now you've got to invest, you know, 60, you know, those 60 bucks or 50 bucks because the, that $60 that you have is only going to be worth, $40 in actual purchasing power five years down the line. So it can quickly kind of get convoluted. So I can see, and also from a person that was in finance that was in like traditional finance for a long time, that's how these guys make their money and they stay around is they keep it super convoluted and we use big words and all this other shit because then you look at me with bright eyes and you're like, I, I don't know what's Just, happening. It justifies the big fee that you're paying for all the services that 100%. The